All right, that's a run. Yeah, that's a good one. Holy boy. Oh, damn. Hey, buddy. Yeah, day guys, it's your boy now, Chucky Shorten, back for another episode of Fisherman's Diary, down tonight at the Logan River. I cannot explain in words quite how fucking humid it is. It is ridiculous. It is so warm. I'm sweating from just standing here. Um, there's no wind, and it's just that awful dry heat. It sucks. I'm thinking about taking my shirt off. It's fucking awful. Anyway, we're fishing tonight for bull sharks. It's a slack tide in about an hour. We're going to fish an hour of the, uh, the outgoing, an hour of the slack, and an hour of the incoming, and see whether we can't pull out a few fish. Uh, all the signs are here. It's perfect night for them. Can't hear any action on the water just yet, but uh, I'd say our chances are probably 80-20 that we're going to catch a shark tonight. 100% that we're going to have a run. Let's try and do it. All right, so the tide's still flowing a little bit too much to fish from that side so we'll fish from this side oh gee she's slippy uh, we'll fish from this side for a little bit maybe half an hour or so till the tide slows up a bit and once it slows up a bit it shall be game on what is that crab maybe seen a few of them recently it's not kicking or head shaking might even be a log every chance that that's a log oh I think it's just let go Yep, it has. Sweet. Sweet. Uh, you know what? We'll just let it go back out from there. I think it is too, you know. They've been out in force recently. I'm pretty confident that that's exactly what that is. And he's let it go. Good. Sick of hooking crabs, honestly. Sick of it. Whoa, I can see some fucking eyes across the river there. That is so creepy. I think it's either a fox or a feral cat. That side of the river is all bushland, so I wonder if you guys can see it on the GoPro there. Wow, it's staring straight at us. That is creepy. All right, tide. No runs, no nothing, no touches, no taps. Totally dead. I thought I thought we'd get a run tonight for sure, but it's looking more and more like I was. Uh, very, very wrong about that. Nothing at the moment. And it's time to go. <sighs> time to get this out in the deepest waters and wait for a sharky. It's like about when predicted. Fish on. Good one too, good one too. All right, that's a run. Yeah, that's a good one. Holy boy. Oh, damn. Hey, buddy. That's a fish. I have plenty of lines, so that's okay. If you want to swim towards us, that works too, pal. Oh, he is swimming towards us, right? Or has he dropped it? No, he's swimming towards us, swimming towards us. Off he goes again. This is a good shark. <laughs> this is a really good shark. I'll loosen up a little. Let him run whenever he wants to. This is a really good shark. Oh, he wants to run again. Look at that. This is a healthy fish, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> now I'm getting nervous. Getting very, very nervous. Ah, keep that clicker on so I know when he's running. Holy shit. This is a good animal. We've hooked it as well. He's well hooked. It's not coming out. Oh, my headlamp's a little bit darker than I thought. Oh, directly, directly on that slack tide. Bang. The only run we've had all night. Swimming right towards us now. What are you doing, mate? He hasn't dropped it, has he? Surely not. Surely we've hooked him. Oh, still on, still on. Just down here. Not too far away. We're actually pretty close. I reckon he's going to have a few more runs because I reckon this is a good fish. I reckon this is a healthy shark. <laughs> Those runs it was having at the start were from a substantial animal. Yeah, here we go. He's going again, surely. 
Oh, this is a good shark. I really want to see this thing. He's just down here. He's not too far down. Don't want him to run left. I want him to come up. Come on, mate. Up you come. Let's have a look at ya. Coming up. He is coming up. I think he is too. Here we go. We might be about to see him. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's a good shark. That's a very healthy pup. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, alrighty. Well, good thing we've got the net, because it is low tide. I'm gonna free spool him here for a sec, let him do his thing. Put my phone in there and get this net and get ready to get down and get this guy. Oh, I'm glad we got one. I was just about to say. Well, I did say on camera, I think. Man, I thought we'd get one tonight, but we've had nothing. It's been dead. But all you need is one run, and if you can convert it, <coughs> happy days. And we might have converted this. Um, we haven't got it in yet, but we're doing pretty well. He's just down here. He's not too far down. It's a good fight on the slack tide. He's not as big, probably, as I thought he was. I tell you what, he's still a very healthy bull shark. Not as big as I thought, but a healthy fish. Getting him in that net and lifted up is going to be a trial. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. I've got him on the first try. All right, here's the hard part. Ah, there we go. Look at that. That is a bull shark. <laughs> Baby. Oh, man. Oh. Ah. Oh, hey, hey, hey. hey. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty healthy shark. That's not a small one. Oh, geez, he's powerful. I've got to put him down here. Usually it takes a while to net them, so they're a little more, a little more tired when you get them up. But that, that is a good bull shark. It's a goodie. I'd say pretty likely that's in the top five biggest bull sharks I've caught in the Logan. He's a good fish, definitely top 10. Let's hope he ends up okay. Can't see him. Yeah, I can't see him at all. I think he'll be just fine. Kicked on nicely. He did swallow the hook. There wasn't much I could do about that, but I cut the trace right next to the hook. So he should be all right. Come on, I'm pumped about that. One run, converted it. Three trips in a row where we've converted every chance. It is going well for us. Let's get up the top. I think that'll do us for tonight. Alrighty, about time to get home and have a shower if you're me, I think. Um, that was a hot, sweaty, but thoroughly rewarding venture that was. That was a good shark, good animal, um, good fight and netted it really well, which I'm stoked about because netting them is usually where I struggle a little, especially on that low tide, but absolutely crushed it tonight, did what we needed to do. We're down there for uh, about an hour and a half, uh, no runs in the first hour, and then bang, just as the uh, slack tide happened, we got them. I need to time it better and not bother getting down there for the hour of the outgoing or the hour of the incoming at the moment. The slack tide is absolutely crushing them, and um, I, I just love it. It's been fantastic so far. Anyway guys, song of the night is going to be, uh, song of the day, I suppose night is pretty ample given that it's midnight. Uh, song of the night is going to be uh, Baylor Corps Abeyance. Baylor Corps are a Australian melodic death metal band um, and you should absolutely support them because they're awesome and I hope everyone enjoys the outro and I'll see you in the next one. Guess what? Probably more shark fishing. Hope you enjoy it because I am sharky for a reason, baby. Let's get it. What a great night. Happy days.